we're going out and uh, driving around today. We're gonna go probably down to Greeno Park, maybe walk around uptown a little bit. So, yeah, that's what we're doing. That's what this video is all about. Yay! <laughs> okay, so uh, once we got there, one of the first things we did was walk down by the, the little stream that runs through the park. And I took a picture of the kids while we were doing that. Wanted to show them all the different rocks that are in the water. Uh, different forms of quartz, granite, uh, that sort of stuff. At least my limited knowledge of this stuff. There are a few flowers growing along the side of the water. Allie thought they were real pretty, so I tried to take a few pictures of them using the uh, macro feature on my camera. Another thing that we kind of noticed is on the trail, some of the smaller trees had created a little... Uh, overcast cave that you would walk through while you're on the trail and there are those were pretty neat Cody caught his eye on a real big tree I have no idea how old this tree is but it was definitely I would have to say that the base of it was probably four and a half maybe five feet in diameter then there's a little alcove area where uh, you walk off of the trail down to the river. There's a lot of little spots like this and you can see somebody had put rocks in the water in a fashion that created that creates a nice little swimming swimming hole. A lot of people do this down there for the sake of their little kids. People will bring down little children down there and let the kids play in the water and you know with, with the guidelines that you can't cross over the rocks. You stay in this little area. Another thing that we also saw out there were a lot of little snakes running around. We saw two of them. We heard a few other ones. Didn't see them, but we did see two little snakes. Cody saw a larger one up on top of a stump, but it was gone by the time me and Allie got to that point. So we saw snakes while we were out on this little nature hike. And then we ran into something else that took us all by surprise. Hey guys, we are down here at Greeno Park and we have ourselves a little cub bear. He's probably about 20 feet away from us. Yeah, he's not very big. Or she, or it, or whatever. Hi there! Oh yeah, he's kind of barking at us a little bit. He wants us to go. Okay, we're gonna get out of here and let you eat on that tree limb, okay? Yeah, we will. Yeah. It's, well, I notice that stuff because I look through all this foliage. We got a little bear over here. A baby black bear. Yeah. Where's I don't know. <laughs> we don't know. <laughs> That's why we're not getting too much more closer. I think she's more up the way a little bit. I think she's more up there. She's in there somewhere. But he's, or she's right there. See her down there? Actually, Yeah. Well, so after we left that bear, we went out walking around a little bit longer. Now, after about, uh, I don't know, half an hour, 45 minutes of walking, we came across another one. <laughs> now, we're not really too sure if this is the same one or not, but I don't think so. I think this is a completely different one. Looking closely at the, uh, the footage that when I was editing this, I did some close-ups and it, is, it seemed like 
these were two different bears. That's the same one we saw before, Cody. I don't think it is. I don't know. Yeah, I don't know. He's probably just doing his thing, chilling out, exploring. Trying to find some place Now cool we can say we saw two bears. Lay down. We could say Squeezie. Yeah. yeah. We could say we, could we say saw squeezy. Yeah, we could say we saw two bears. I don't know if that's the same bear. I don't know if that's the same bear, though. Well, the last bear we saw, I'm pretty sure the brown on its nose was darker. So? Yeah. So? Plus, it was on the other side of the river. And I doubt we would want to cross that. That was a little spooky. Well, we almost walked spooky. right up on it. Well, we didn't even know. Walked right up on it. We didn't even know. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> That's neat. That's neat. And there it goes There's to that wood shack. Yeah, that wood be. It's gonna eat the homeless person in the shack. Oh, that was neat. Your head. Get out of the way, Cody. Get out of the way, Cody. Yeah, he's going to do his thing. He's going to do his thing. Oh, look, he's going to scratch. <laughs> he's going to rub up against a tree. Now something else that we also uh, saw too were three deer uh, later on after these last clips, but we didn't get our we didn't get our hands on that. I didn't get a recording of that, but Allie did. But anyways, we're thinking that the reason for all this activity is because of the fires, all the fires that have been happening around this area for the past two months. It's caused the air quality here to be so terrible that people just you know everybody was just staying inside nobody was out but today was actually a really nice clean clear day there wasn't any smoke in the air and it, you know everybody was feeling good everybody was out that part the, the park was actually there was a lot of people walking around in the park a lot of people saw the bears and the bears didn't hurt anybody they didn't mess with anybody or nothing like that you know that's probably what the deal was why the activity was so high today but anyways guys i'm gonna get on out of here uh tell me what you think of all that crazy and i'll see you guys in the next one bye bye thanks for watching